Hello there, everyone, and welcome back. I am Bogmod, playing more of The Legend of Heroes: Children's Sky the Third. Still, uh, so we got Colonel Richard. All of his evil into the group, which is a little unexpected, in that it was completely unexpected. But it is what it is, and that's all that it is. Mm -hmm. All right, who we got? Hey, Joshua, what's up to? Richard's circumstances are notably different from the rest of us who ended up here. There's got to be some kind of underlying reason why that was the case. It just can't be random. You can work that out. I have this feeling we'll be able to get soon to be closer to knowing just how this world works. It's just a case of connecting the dots. Uh, okay. Don't you dare take one step closer to Joshua wearing that skimpy as hell outfit. Oh, she's dealing with, uh, okay, I see what's going on. Just because you're blessed with bombastic boobs doesn't mean you gotta just go showing them off 24-7. What? D damn it! I had life so unfair. Mm. Looks a lot better compared to before. Indeed. Mm. All right. Let's see, he seems to be doing fine now. Fortunately for us, he's one tough cookie. Uh, so he should be up and about in no time. Well, now I want to put her in my group. Huh? Alright, now what happens if I talk to you? Fine now. Okay. Well, uh, hold on, hold on. Let's go with Joshua. And let's go with. There we go. Let's see what happens now. Something laughing at the moment. Doesn't seem to be moaning in his sleep as much anymore either. Just need to keep get his fever down a little. He'll be good as new. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Here's what it is. They're not that big, are they? See, normal, normal. Well, I guess compared to everybody else, they're definitely big. Oh, that's an interesting question. The Amagumo, eh? And look at that hair! That is anime hair. Oops. A mass market katana made in Calvard. Very good quality. Alright. Damn. 1950. Well, he is level 117. So that is to be expected, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this place is full of, pecu of peculiar things. It appears to be a dimensional space of its own. So finding all this hard to take in? Ah, I will do Estelle. You could put it that way, yes. I fear it's going to take me a while longer to come to with an effective enough plan to conquer this place. It will be my new base of operations, which I will begin my attack on the on Liberal once again. C conquer? Wait a minute! Conquer Liberal? There was anything you were trying to be prostitute here, but you're only one step ahead. That's our colonel. As I believe I've told you several times already, I'm not a colonel anymore. I'm a private citizen. Running an R&D company. I guess that makes me an evil businessman? An evil scientist? Hmm. Not even part of the army anymore. Oh. Oops! Running a research company for civilians these days, right? Indeed. Well, still a relatively insignificant startup, though. I'm a small office in Realm. It employs a president of myself and Canon. Wait! Captain Althea's working with you, too? And when you're sitting behind a desk doing normal people work. <laughs> I suppose that's hardly surprising, but you know the captain. She is obsessed with me. She's also changed since the coup. Uh, been living a rather relaxed life since our new business began. Really? I can't believe it though. Got this whole different aura about you now. You must be getting laid. Maybe this was actually the right career choice for you after all. I certainly hope so. Regardless, returning to work is just another reason I can't afford to remain here any longer than necessary. 
to strive to return to our world as soon as possible. Yeah, agreed. We're counting on you, Colonel. Did that entire conversation fly right over her head? This world we are in clearly operates by its own set of rules. And as such, it seems reasonable to conclude that they exist because it was created for a specific purpose. We can work out what that purpose is. I may be able to think of an effective way of conquering it, but therein lies the challenge. Let's see, both General Morgan and Brigadier General Bright did their best to stop Richard from leaving the army when he made his decision to do so. I don't know. General Bright left the army for a while. Let Richard go. He realized that he made a mistake. He was an exceptionally skilled soldier. The military is worse off without him. Is that Brigadier General Wright hasn't given up on bringing him back into the ranks yet, even. Presumably, he said he can offload more of his work onto him. Yeah, I said we went for giving up people a break. Regardless, I was expecting Richard of all people to end up here. Does this fit with the rule that only those who have aided us end up in the ceiling stones? Yeah, fair enough. It's my first time meeting Richard ever since he officially left the army. I had heard his company's name mentioned on a number of occasions since then, however. Oh, really? Maybe he's doing pretty well for himself, then. Ooh, there have been small adverts for it in magazines, too, I believe. Alright. So our latest ally is the former Royal Army Officer Colonel Richard, is it? I've heard many great things about the skill and battle and espionage, as well as his intellect. Uh, he does sound like a man I would not... He, he doesn't sound like a kind of man I would want as an enemy. Okay. Uh, he's not someone that wants an enemy, but I'll welcome him any day as a powerful Eli. Alright, now, one more switch. Since these two mentioned wanting to punch him in the face. Alright, nothing special. Okay. Nothing new down here. Nope. Alright. Okay then, I guess it's back to that dimension. Mm, I did those two. And I suppose... Check out their orbits. Okay, you need a new orbit, apparently. Mm -hmm. right, that reminds me. You've got Heaven's Eye. Okay, so I don't need information or... Okay, so that's, that's fine. What do we got? What do we have? What are my options? Yeah, mine three, I think, actually. And you're okay on... Well, I can do better than shield, too. Mm, all right. That should be okay for now. Da, da, da. So here's the question. Will we be facing a boss off right away when we go back? I'm not sure. Fifth plane, uh, luminous midpoint. Actually, while I'm here, let's sell. And eh, 200 points for Chloe if I give her a fealty sword. I think that's a good investment. And quartz. There we are. Defense 5. And a water gem. Point three becomes the water. Oh no! Oh, I can't. Ah, I'm gonna have to upgrade that, won't I? I missed that she did not have her quartz synthesized enough. And this will go for that one.
Alright, now then. Now you should be able to fit it. Topaz gem. Ooh, tear all. Nice. Everything's better. Any chests? Nope. Alright. Oh! Definitely a different zone now. Interesting. Interesting. A little more creepy a place, too. Chest chests? Nope. Hey, it's all those big guys. There will be fun to fight. And an incubus. Oh, wait, maybe this is not. Could this be a succubus? It is! It appears in men's dreams. And they So they basically just added boobs, it looks like, and then reversed the sprite. Eh. Oh, I forgot to equip it. Yeah, I forgot to equip it for it. We'll uh, fix that in a moment. Yay! A level up. So, equipment. Chloe. Fealty sword. Good, good, good. Sure, that silk plus one. Okay. Composites three. Which reminds me also. Defense two. Okay. Nothing. Nothing crazy to upgrade there. Uh, let's go... Kill these guys. Yes, all of them at once! With a critical! Yes, okay, you missed one, but you got most of them. Um, Bobcat. Eh, why not? Why not? Then you can start to build up some points. There's no point in having some of these. It's like when you have healing items and you save them to the very, very, very end of boss. No, there's, there's time to see this stuff at, is it? But I mean, this is a rechargeable, so there's even less reason to save it. Bye! A lot of water stones. And ooh, 220. Yes! And now I've got enough, I think, for a level foo. Hmm. Start a new game. Easy, normal, hard, nightmare, other nightmare. No, I think I'll hold off on a new game for now. Try Supreme Comet. No, I can't get all three. Uh, let's go with the Hurricane then. Also, I think one of those. No, it's just hidden. As I, say, I think that one of those spiders looks different, but it was just the blue of the horse making it look different. There we are! That's a much significant difference. From 100 damage to 1,000. Oh, Ooh, Orbal Bomb. I'm curious to know what that is. Crest Charm. Let's see, perhaps the second gift will be unwelcome. And should it come to that, I would still dearly wish to be your friend. The days we spend in that shop are, and will always remain, precious no matter the answer. Ah, oh, that makes me think. I was watching some Futurama of late. And, um... You know, there are some really touching episodes in that show. I don't think, like... Yeah, yeah, it's, it, you know, it's all about the laughs and the comedy, but, you know, there's some really good stuff. Like, I was watching... Uh, what are some? Well, of course, there's the famous 
um, dog episode with his well, Seymour, his dog. That would get you right in the feels. But I was watching, um, I finally saw... What's it? Um, the Game of Tones one, I think it's called. I think that's the episode name. But, uh, it's, it touches on Fry finally having that chance to to see his... It's a very long teleport chain. To see his mother again, and, and ha you know, that that gets you. How that one go into? Oh, I love episodes that really make you feel. I mean, entertainment is all well and good, but... I don't know. What are you? What do you think's a good show that... That surprises you with poignant, touching moments. Because I don't know. Things have definitely. I mean, even for cartoon shows, the writing has gotten so much better for when I was so young. Oh, it's a Zane. Yeah, I know it's. I know it's Zin now, but. Two games! He's Zane in my mind. That's actually... That's always... Speaking of changes, I was... One of the games that I'm playing, I heard, was I was replaying some of the Dragon Quest games on their uh, their new... Um, well, they, a lot of them got re-releases, right? And... Well, yeah, those new releases, it wasn't just like a direct port over to a new system. You know, they upgrade graphics, they, in, in some places, they, they even change dialogue. What the? Alright, this is, this is definitely mazy now. But there's a chest. And you know me in chests. <laughs> and, I mean, like, you're ignoring that in a lot of games um, now, right? There's the... You know, the couple years ago they come with the new high def version. Like, you know, uh, Twilight Princess or Wind Waker or whatever. I just realized I listened to Nintendo Zelda games there. Ah, oh, well. It's an interesting idea. I mean, so it is cheaper. Ooh, hello, door. Choose left or to choose right. Only the cards know what the future holds. Just to decide, present the card that governs fate. Alright, well that's gonna be... Um, Sherizard for that one. Hands down, that Sherizard. No questions asked. Yeah. Goodbye. Aww. Well... I was hoping. But, um, yeah. I got the remaster of, um, Bioshock, because I loved the Bioshock games. I was not super impressed with the, with the update. I mean... Ooh. Oh no! I was not prepared. Damn it! Uh, do you have anything to resurrect? Nope. Very well. You hit. Uh, nope. No resurrection from you. Nope, no resurrection. Damn. All right. Um. Celestial bomb, I suppose. Right. Oh, that's annoying. It might also be. Oh no! Stop. Don't! No, don't do it! Oh, thank you. Touching on my, um... 
to die. Touching on me uh, finding episodes and shows a little more. Damn it! <sighs> a little more impactful and emotional. I definitely think that it's. Some of that comes with age, right? Because it's only as you grow up and you get exposed to more things that you can understand the context of a lot of this stuff differently. I mean, like episodes involving children and family, um, the feel and the impact of them is so much different when you've maybe had a ch maybe lost a parent or you. Uh, oh, it reminds me, I want to check this. Or you yourself have, have kids. All right, bubble bomb. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad little attack. It worked. I don't like all of this uh, status affecting stuff. Alright, you can finish him off. Yes. Should be some good experience out of this fight. Well, that takes care of that. Ooh, a spring egg. Hack splutter. Sorry. I've got a bit of a chesty cough. Ah ha ha. Talk to everyone later.